Hey, good morning, friends. This is AJ with another day, and let's see what we're going to get into today. We just dropped off the little one at school, and we got some stuff to finish up at church, and I need to visit the other church I talked to you about yesterday so that I can get their sound system straight because they were having some problems on their live stream. Now, I don't plan on being here very long. Mainly, I got the rest of the pieces that were missing from when I upgraded the computer. So, the IO shields for the PCIe slots. Um, I think that's mainly it. I'm really here just to um, eat up some time because people don't show up over at Good Shepherd until around 9 o'clock. So, instead of me driving all over the place, just wanted to get over there, stay here for a little bit, take care of what I need to over there, then head back. Because most likely, y'all have already seen that I did not post my vlog today that normally shows at 8 o'clock because super tired from choir rehearsal. And by the time I was editing, I didn't realize how much I actually recorded <laughs> yesterday. It was a lot, and I was trying to trim it down. And my eyes started to get a little wandering and all this other stuff. And I'm like, man, I'm going to have to finish this tomorrow. So that's the only reason why most likely these vlogs are going to come together um, pretty close. All right, here are those IO shields I was talking about. I'm going to go put those in place. Just do some spot checks on some stuff since... It's Wednesday and I'm the person who's doing the music. I need to put in my hymn that way because there's no point in me getting after people for not doing it and I don't do it myself. So I'm gonna submit that, give myself a little bit of stuff to work on and then head over to Good Shepherd at around nine o'clock and it's 8.02 right now. All right, I finished everything I needed to do up here. What I forgot about were two things. The NDI monitor that I moved into the multi-purpose room that I thought I connected to, it was actually the computer in the library that was donated that I fixed for the learning center is what I have remoted into. So, um, so I still need to come back here, get a ladder, connect the Intel Nook to the Wi-Fi, or most likely I need to pull that coax cable which is not going to be needed anymore and run that you run the ethernet cable through that conduit and connect it hardwired into the um, the network so that it will play um, need to have that before Sunday so I might come and do it tomorrow um, not a hundred percent sure the other thing I have to do is um, I think what I need to do is find one of the older computers and see if I can actually use um, that case with the motherboard that I pulled out of the old video editing system and put that in there. If not, I need to get like, I mean, I don't need something fancy, maybe like a $25, $30 case um, for a full I, um, ATX motherboard so that, it, um, so that I can put that in the chapel for future playing music, which is another bonus I didn't even think about because um, I have a drive around here somewhere that I can use um, or one of the old computers has a drive so we can play music even though really don't need CDs but play that as well as that would be the system that can live stream if we ever did anything so that's what I need to do before I head out I got 20 minutes before somebody will be over there so I'm gonna leave here at 9 to get over there so I know I have enough time that somebody should be over at Good Shepherd by the time that I get there I was getting ready to leave, but I had a thought. Since we have that 3200G now inside of our um, presentation computer, which has a graphics card in it, my thought is to test out, I need to take out the GTX 1050 out of that system and see, can I get all of the outputs to do what I needed to do with the, it has two outputs, I think it's a DVI and an HDMI on the motherboard. And then I have a USB output. I wanna see if I put a splitter on that, can I get the same performance without it? Because if I do, I'm gonna move the 1050 to the live streaming system 
then the 750 that's in the live streaming system that would be my graphics card for the system I put in the chapel and actually now I think about it I don't need to do that right now um, but that is the thought of what I'm thinking about doing um, that way don't have to really buy a new graphics card and we just have one that should be good and I thought I had another graphics card sitting around here somewhere I thought I had a RX 550 I don't know if I built that in somebody's computer or not I thought I did hmm. I have to revisit that I know I got a card sitting around here somewhere or did I build it in somebody's computer can't remember <laughs> so I'll figure it out soon later all right I am back here at Good Shepherd and let's go check out the sound to see what is going on here it's kind of cool to see that the stuff that you installed is working and they're really enjoying it now granted we never got a chance to sit back and do some training with them but um that's pretty cool see all the cameras and everything uh, working fine the two there the um, ADA imaging cameras there and then the other one back there which is under the smart plug similar to what I had what I did here first and that before I did at my church so main thing I know the sound is working because if the sound wasn't working when they had revival people would have complained so what I think is happening is a cable got disconnected some way that's feeding into the ATEM and that's the reason why you can't hear anything. Just spot checking some stuff here. So let's head upstairs and try and diagnose the problem. Alrighty, so let's get everything turned on here. And I'm gonna check all the systems as well too to make sure the sound and every, I mean, Everything is updated as well. All right, so I updated OBS. I'm going through updating the software. Now, one problem is the ATEM Television Studio HD I was able to update because updates can be pushed over the network, but everything else, the HyperDeck shuttle, which they don't use, um, and the other ones, Need a uh, hold on, to sit down. <laughs> need a USB cable to connect to, as well as the other the six um, mini converters there. So I may have to come back and get those items updated, but um, really, there's no benefit. I mean, it's not. It's gonna. It's not gonna hurt the fact that it's done, not updated. The ATEM is the heart of everything. That's been updated, and the video. Um, smart controller um, is probably the other thing that I will do an update to and the good thing about it is it's not it's on version 641 currently but the most recent version is 644 so the features that they added on in that version are not something to where it's like oh my gosh it's the new hotness I got to make sure we got it it's not that at all um, and it's mainly been um, the saying here it includes general performance and stability improvements um, so it's and actually we missed 4.3 but again that's for the 12G version and so a lot of the features, yeah, no, most recent is 6.4, then it jumped to 6, I mean, 6.4.1 is what we have. 6.4.3 came out a year later, which is just for the newer models. Um, you know, let me go ahead and just, I'll just go ahead and install it anyway. So let's go ahead and knock that out too. All right, so I'm here I'm trying to troubleshoot what the problem is sound is working on the jack that is plugged into here I can hear it in the headphones only in the right channel um, 
but for whatever reason I'm not getting anything out into the ATEM. So I'm hooking up a microphone, one of the wireless microphones directly to the ATEM just to see if I get anything from that. Um, if that's not it, then I have no idea what it could possibly be. All right, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. Um, I forgot that I had a microphone sitting inside of here. Um, gotta troubleshoot what the issue is. I don't know why all of a sudden the system will be working and then just the um, XLR sound into the ATEM is not working. Um, it's not like anybody would go in there and change the settings. I heard sound coming in when I plugged headphones into that monitor out jack. So it's just process of elimination. Is it the cables that are going to it that are bad? I'm gonna switch out the cables that I have going from my mixer into the ATEM and test that out. Bring some headphones with me and then ultimately I just have to bring my portable system with me. Um, hope it's not uh, the XLRs are bad because I would have to take the whole thing out. Most likely what I would do is um, take out their ATEM and use mine, replace it with mine. Um, that's the only thing I can think. That way they can be up and working and then I can continue working with what I need. Um, that is an option. Don't wanna do that, but I wanna make sure they got their stuff working. So let me get up out of here, finally get some breakfast. It's almost over some lunch now. Um, finish up the vlog from yesterday. I didn't get a chance to edit and then head back up this way around like 4.30 to get my daughter from daycare. So after doing some testing here with my ATEM Television Studio HD, I'm thinking that maybe either the cable is bad, which I doubt it is because I tested that. Um, it might be that just the XLR jacks are messed up. I put in a trouble ticket to Blackmagic to see what they will say about that. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to take my system and replace it with theirs for right now and then the trouble ticket is just going to be on for me to handle. Um, I think I can get workarounds with that because I only use the XLRs right now when I'm playing with my stuff because um, I normally have my sound going through my camera which is going over um, SDI into my ATEM. Um, that's how I can avoid this issue. That would be the easiest thing to do. Now, if I take my ATEM there tomorrow and test, and I get the same problem, then there's something bigger that's the problem. Um, honestly, a part of me is hoping that's the issue and it's not the black magic stuff at all. But what I'm gonna do is take my Rode video mic and my hookup that I normally use for my system, hook that up to it and see if I get any feedback at all. If I do, that's the other thing I need to take. I'm taking my headphones with me as well so I can plug in directly into the ATEM to see if I can hear it there. If I can hear, um, there's something else going on. But that's about it. So this is kind of more interesting, troubleshooting some issues going on with the Blackmagic devices. But anyway, if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos. And I will take you along with me tomorrow when we try and solve this problem there and see whatever stuff we get into thank y'all for all your new subscribers guys we hit 700 we are right there close to um 750 I really thank y'all for all the stuff and we're going to be putting something together here so we can celebrate when we hit 1000 like i said before but anyway y'all have a great evening and we will see y'all tomorrow later